All right, guys, let's take a closer look at the notice sector GMT. This is in the Metro colorway. There's one other colorway. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can go to the notice website and check them out. See which one is going to be the best fit for you. This one here is just really clean anthracite dial touch of uh, kind of like a mint powder blue green ish color, both on the GMT hand and that inner chapter ring there. So uh, very clean. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the size because this is probably one of the most important things about this watch is the size. And I mean, we already know Notice is putting together a very high quality product for an affordable price. So once we assume that, now we can focus on the size because the size is a big deal for a lot of people that are looking for just a regular GMT watch. No bezel action, no wizardry or anything like that. This thing just does a good field style looking watch, but with a GMT added function. So this is a 38 millimeter case, 47 lug to lug. You can see nice shape to the mid case there, fully brushed with polished reliefs, drilled lugs. It's 12 and a half millimeter thick, sapphire crystal up top, solid case back. You have a seven and a half millimeter screw down crown, keeping the 100 meter water resistance on this thing. And when I manipulated this crown, I unscrewed it, pulled it out. There's no crown guard, so it's really easy to use, but it's also pretty slender and tucked up close to the case. Gives it a nice sleek profile. This thing is so stout. It's it's, I know I've mentioned this before where that's just one of the little quirks that if there's too much crown wobble, it just drives me nuts. This one has no crown wobble. It is tight. It is so good. Um, 20 millimeter lug width. Okay, so those are killer measurements, guys, right there. Basically, 38 by 47 is what you need to focus on. The fact that it's also only 12 and a half millimeter thick with a GMT automatic movement from the Seiko Corp. Uh, it's the NH34, that newer one. And we'll run through the functions on it, but uh, it's a forward only or a caller's GMT style watch. Price point, $450. So you're under that magic $500 comfort zone that I'm going to probably speak more and more about as we progress through 2023. I think uh, a lot of us are looking a little bit closer at what we're spending and what we're spending it on. And this brand here, Notice, like a lot of other micro brands, um, are going to be some of our best options. The leather on this thing. I don't think Notice was using Horween leather before. Am I wrong on that? But this is a Horween leather strap. It's a, a little bit thicker than I've uh, noticed Notice some other brands use with their watches. So it must be a little bit more of a premium or a upgrade for this leather. But you can tell just how it flexes, how it's going to show the stress. It's a, it's a very, very high quality leather strap and I'm, I'm happy that they went with that and uh, it just really pairs with the brand perfectly. So let's unscrew this crown. As I'm doing that, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can get a closer look at this guy. These are assembled in the United States and uh, oh man, nice pop to that too. That's probably the nicest pop I've had on a NH34 so far because I've, I'm starting to see more and more of these NH34s come through. This one had a really nice pop, and that's just the way they construct it and the gaskets and the, uh, you know, sizing everything. But they are designed and assembled in L.A. So Wes and Cullen, the owners of Notice, uh, they um, good guys. I've met them a few times now, and uh, they, they take care of everything, man. The warranties, the, the assembly, the design, all of that stuff. Nice wine to this. For, you know, standard Seiko wind, you know, first position out, that's where you're going to be able to adjust the date and the GMT. But the GMT, like I said, is a forward only. And you can see it there. A little bit shorter GMT hand pointing towards that inner chapter ring with the 24-hour register. So very clean design there for you to track that second time zone or just AM, PM, whatever you want to do. You can, of course, pull it all the way out and look at this. There's like almost no crown wobble. And then you can adjust the time. And if you go backwards with it, then you would adjust the date. Also, backspin your crowns, guys. Just a little tip. Back, push in, backspin. You'll feel it. If I can get it to do it. 
you'll feel it drop into place and then you can go forward. That way you minimize the risk of uh, any sort of cross-threading. I don't think that you're gonna have it with this. You can see the AR coating reflection on this. It does a pretty dang good job. A little bit of blue hue to it. You can see the finishing on this. Well done indeed, if I can get it to focus. Nice anthracite dial, sector dial, of course. Love the touch of the blue down in the bottom there. Color match date wheel, signed crown, amazing finishing. Screwed in case back and quick release spring bars on the leather strap. So if you wanna swap it out, do something different, you can do so. Let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. The strap is not broken in, um, but it I can tell instantly it's gonna break in so quick. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And I'm also migrating back down towards 38 millimeter watches. I have the whole range, you know what I mean? Like um, even with notice, because I have the uh, Avalon in bronze and that's a little bit bigger watch. And I'm hoping to pick up, who am I kidding? I'm definitely picking up their new watch, which I have here, but I can't share it with you. It's embargoed, uh, but when it, when the embargo lifts, I will drop the video. It's a killer, killer watch. So let's give this a quick blast with the UV light and check out the loom. Big thanks to Notice for sending this out so I can check it out and share it with you guys. Looks like we have a healthy application of loom. The Arabic's all the way around the dial, the inner chapter, the hour, minute, and GMT hand all loomed up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next vid.